The release of the 2009 KCP examination results provided a perfect opportunity for the two embattled professors at the Ministry of Education to shed some light on the alleged misappropriations of hundreds of millions of shillings earmarked for the funding of free primary education program. We have had a storm and we are not saying that we are angels. There may be problems here and there, but the good news is that we are tackling these problems. There have been fears that the free primary education program may be on its knees following revelations that millions of shillings have been squandered. But as investigations continue, Hungary has assured parents that come January next year, their children will be in class after the finance ministry released the requisite funds. I wish to assure Kenyans that this program is safe and on course and that funding for account two is already in school accounts and money for account one will be disbursed early January 2010. And as guardians, that prime responsibility of protecting the interests of the child goes beyond any secretary, sectarian interest, any personal, whatever interest, and the least of all, the political interest. On cheating in examinations, the game has been upped by attempts to smuggle cell phones into examination rooms. The government says cheats will from next year face more severe penalties. Some 1,904 cases were reported in this year's KCP examinations. We should all take note that from 2010, any candidates who cheat in an examination will be barred from taking any Kenya National Examination Council for a period of two years. Cases of double registration and impersonation of candidates were also reported, particularly in private schools. The Kenya National Examination Council will, from the year 2010, introduce the use of birth certificate numbers for every candidate in order to track the movement of each individual candidate. While the number of candidates in this year's KCP are short to over 727,000, transition from primary to secondary schools remains a major challenge. The Form 1 selection exercise will kick off on 8th January next year. Education Minister Professor Sam Ongeri and his Permanent Secretary Professor Karega Mutahi may want to blame politics for the wars that they are facing over the management of finances set aside for the free primary education. However, they will have to answer some serious questions concerning their conduct and the running of that ministry at least before the students go back to school next week. Francis Gashuri, Citizen TV, in Nairobi.